Hoptian is a self-taught oil painter born and raised in Beijing, China. While studying at graduate school in New York State, she answered a lifelong calling of making visual art her profession. So with me is, is Hope, and uh, to talk about your art, let's just start with you. Tell me about yourself. Sure. Uh, thanks for having me here. Uh, I am a self-taught oil painter. Uh, currently living in eastern Massachusetts with my family. I came to the States in the late 90s uh, to study MBA in upstate New York. Mm -hmm. okay. I have been painting for over 12 years. Uh, you know, in 2011, I started my first painting, which was a portrait of uh, African elephants. Actually, it was a birthday gift for my son. Mm -hmm. And um, later did I realized then it was a birth of my art career. In the beginning, actually, I painted uh, like portraits mainly. But over the years, my interest in the subjects of artwork has expanded widely. On any given month, I could be painting landscapes, seascapes, uh, still lives cityscapes, could be painting expressive, uh, imaginary figures and images. Mm. So, so uh, pretty much. You've come a long way, it sounds like <laughs> yeah. since you started. What inspires you? Oh, so many. <laughs> Can be anything, anytime. Uh, the masterpieces in the museums, sometimes the feeling of uh, nostalgia after talking with my a uh, childhood friend on the phone. Mm. And uh, the, you know, the stories from other people, especially for those uh, commissioned work I took. And um, you know, the sometime a joke with a good friend too. Mm. <laughs> and um, of course love. Love is a huge inspiration mm. for me. So, uh, you know, when the days, Inspiration seems uh, walk away, and the blank canvas just stares back at me in defiance. Um, I know, you know, they will come to me as long as I keep my heart open, my mind curious and hungry. So, what is art to you? Oh, that um, that's a big topic. <laughs> uh, art, in my opinion, art has no boundaries at all. Uh, whether in form, in content, or even in space and time. Um, art can be the bridge between people's hearts, can be the bridge connecting the past, the future, and present. And, and actually, my heart told me art, art can be, you know, it's a, a language spoken in heaven. And art, just a magic wand, and granted to us artists from God. Mm. So, what makes an artist successful? Um, I think any successful artist must get out of uh, comfort zone, his or her comfort zone, mm. treat in it for you know courage for uh, curiosity to engage in new visions. Um, I believe a true artist is a true explorer into time. Uh, sometimes historical, sometimes uh, present, sometimes you know, just give us a glimpse of unknown future. We artists lives, we, we live in three time zones like this. Mm. Yeah. Now, you mentioned still lifes earlier. So mm -hmm. tell me about those a little bit. When you, what are you working on for still life paintings? Uh, still lifes, I have several paintings in my still life uh, collection. Um, you know, still life for me is more about life and time. So for each of the paintings, uh, after I setting up the layout, I always uh, sat, sat in front of the arrangement and just uh, look at it for quite a while. Mm. At those moments, time became 
very still to me. There are nothing but, but the light, the shadows, the, the plants, the flowers, and the airflow. And I, I seem to have felt the weight of time. Mm. And just, uh, you know, just, it, you just want to, want to keep the time, want to grasp the moment and shape it into eternity. Mm -hmm. So still life is um, a paradox of uh, still and dynamic, a paradox of uh, momentary and forever. Oh, interesting. Okay, so finally, what has art taught you? So much. Art uh, has taught me so much. But one of the most important lessons I learned from it is uh, nothing is impossible. And make me, it made me uh, more fearless about living. And I just feel I'm so blessed that I have been surrounded by you know, wonderful people such as my family, friends, the collectors around the globe. And um, it just feels so blessed. Yeah, well, thank you so much for coming. I mean, oh. you can tell that you're expressing yourself through the art of you know, what you're experiencing it's, in life. So thank you, Hope. It's been such a heartfelt yeah. joy to be here today. And thank you for letting me to share my thoughts about art. Thank you. Thanks.